Whenever you're shooting the ball, get full extension. Let me back up. Can I, can I zoom this camera out? Let me zoom it. Get full extension That's tight on your shot idea. every time. So I was late to practice today. Light practice. I forgot that we had to be there 15 minutes early because I thought it was the day before the game. We normally do some quickness exercises with the trainer. So I was like, oh, I get warm with the trainer, but that didn't work. So 15, I was five minutes late. And if you're one minute late, that's a half a tour like a half a lap around the gym. If you're two minutes late, that's a full lap around the gym, every stair. So I had to do this this morning, extremely tired. I had to do four and a half. So that's how my morning started. I had some cereal for breakfast because I woke up kind of late. Just didn't feel like getting out of bed today. But interesting topic, man. I'm gonna show y'all my car. I drive a Mini Countryman. I'm sorry. I drive a Mini Clubman. This thing, this thing takes a lot of gas, man. I drive, I drove a Mercedes Benz truck back home, and a Chevy Tahoe, and it probably took like sixty dollars to fill up. This Mini takes like eighty, eighty dollars to fill up. Now, I don't know if that's the engine, I don't know if that's the car, or the prices in France is high. Because I really don't understand the prices for gas here. So, look at this. 70, 68, 68 euros for a Mini. 68 euros is like $70. $75 something like this so gas is pretty expensive here man granted granted I only live like five minutes away from the gym so I don't have to put gas that much but I put gas like two twice a, two three times a month but if I take a trip to Paris that's another time that I gotta put gas but this little car takes up a bunch of gas anyway man today i want to help you guys get your jump shot right so we're gonna focus on how to get our jumpers more consistent let's get it all right so i just woke up took a little nap got a good nap in cut my hair fresh Doing the best I can, man, but making it happen. Um, let's talk about what we came here to talk about. How to improve our shooting. How to get more consistent shooting the basketball. Now, I always wasn't a good shooter. Um, I turned into a, a decent shooter. Um, I, I can make, I'm a shot maker, I would call. But I relied heavily on my athleticism. When I was coming up, I just knew how to put the ball in the hole because I play a lot of street basketball. I didn't play a lot of organized basketball. So to improve my shooting, I had to do these three things. I focused on these three things. The first thing I focused on was making a lot of shots. Making a lot of shots every day. What happens when you make a lot of shots is you get comfortable seeing the ball going through the net over and over and over and over again. And you see, when I hear, when people hear a lot of shots, they probably think that you have to do a lot of shots from three or a lot of shots from pull-ups. You can make 200 shots, 200 layups. Your finishing game is going to become impeccable, you know? So just seeing the ball go through the net makes you way more comfortable. So I would say I tried to make 250 shots a day in college. As a pro, I try to make a minimum 200, 250. I do the same thing pretty much. 
So I would make like 150 in the morning and 100 in the afternoon, you know, because we have two practices a, a day most of the time. So one of the main things that I focused on though, to get my shot right was form shooting. Form shooting is something that I do pretty much every day. I start off right in front of the rim. I make about 10. I try to go 10 swishes. I try to go with one hand, 10 swishes, one hand. Then I'll back up. I'll do 10 swishes, one hand. Then I'll back up. I keep going back as far as I possibly can until I start launching the ball instead of shooting the ball. Then I come back up and I do 10 normal jump shots with both hands. All swishes, just knocking out 10. If I make it cool, if I miss it, I don't count it, but it gotta be a switch for me to count the 10, right? What happens is that gets you used to seeing the ball go through the net, that gets you used to swishing the basketball. So whenever your jump shot is off a little bit, you got room for error because you're so used to making swishes that whenever your jump shot is off just a tad bit, it's still a make, right? So I try to focus on whether I'm short, whether I'm long, and I try to get my extension up through my arm to make sure that I'm fully extending on that jump shot. The next thing I focused on was being ready to shoot. A lot of players have a lot of problems because they're not ready to shoot. They're standing straight up, they're not moving without the ball, and they receive the ball, and then have to catch, load up, then shoot. It's too late. Especially at high level basketball, you don't have that split second. You need that split second. So your hands should be ready. Your hands should be in a ready position. Whenever you catch the ball, you're already locked and loaded. Boom, you got your little hinge. You don't have to bend your knees all the way down. You don't have to get too low, but you should have the hinge in your hips that you're gonna take to, for your jump shot to go straight up. So it's one motion. You receive the pass and you're going from catch to straighten the jump shot. You're not going catch, dip, then jump shot. It's not a good rhythm. It's gonna knock you off your rhythm. You're not gonna get a lot of shots up. You're not gonna be ready to shoot. I always say, keep my hands ready, have a hinge in my hips, have my feet ready, boom, I like to do one, two. I don't necessarily like to do the two feet hop. I like the one, two, step into it, boom, let it go, let it fly. So that's the second thing I did. The third thing I started doing was focusing on my follow through. I paid attention to my follow through so much. I had a bad habit of doing this. After I shoot, I seen someone in the hood do it. I seen a couple of um, good scores in the NBA do it. And what happens is, it's hard to get consistency whenever you shoot the ball like this. You can do this consistent. Holding your follow through can be a consistent motion because you have to hold your follow through. Your wrist can only go so far down. But whenever you're doing this snapping motion, you can snap here, you can snap here, you can snap here. You're not getting no consistency. But if every time you fully extending that wrist to the, to the maximum capacity that it could flick, that creates consistency. Then all you gotta do is worry about your guide hand. You gotta notice if your thumb is getting in the way, notice if your ball got any type of spin on it. But you from your, you right here with your, with your wrist, ball, bang. Every time, holding that follow through, man. Whenever you hold that follow through, you're gonna get full extension on your jump shot. Next time that you're working on shooting, Pay attention to if you're holding your follow through or if you're pulling it back. My college teammate, Corey Bloom, he taught me this. Just one day I came to the game extremely early. He was passing through, going to the office or something like that. I was making shots and he looked at me, he was like, bro, hold, it, hold your follow through. It's like, man, you, you can make shots, but you ain't gonna be consistent, hold your follow through. Started holding my follow through and my whole game changed. I actually owe that, I owe that guy some money. But do these three things, man. I guarantee you're gonna start seeing some type of improvements in your jump shot. See the ball go through the net by getting up a lot of shots. Whether you have a partner or not, it's no excuses. You can make a lot of shots every day. Have your hands ready, have your hips ready, and have your feet ready so you don't have as much motion in your shot. Everything can be fluid so that you can get the shot off. And last but not least, hold your follow through. Whenever you shoot the ball, get full extension. Let me back up. Can I, can I zoom this camera out? Let me zoom it. Get full extension on your shot every time. Because that's, because that's how you create consistency. You're doing the same motion, 
Time after time after time, your body develops muscle memory, and boom, you become a better shooter, percentages go up, you get more cheddar, live your dreams, you live a truth life by making them pay every day. Please like and subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, share this video with your friends or anybody that want to improve their jump shot, and until next time,